Managing type 1 diabetes on a normal day is stressful enough. Throwing a trip to the airport in the mix can add even more anxiety. Hi, my name is Jillian. I'm a stay-at-home mom with two young children. I've been living with type 1 diabetes for 32 years. This is my diabetes lifestyle channel. In this channel, you'll gain access to a lot of information about type 1 diabetes and also get a look at how I balance my life living with a chronic illness and raising a family. Today I want to show you how I pack and prepare to board a flight safely and on time. Please make sure you stick around until the end so you can see how I managed to get through TSA. Normally I can get through in a breeze with these steps I'm about to tell you I take but there have been times where I've been held up by TSA for an extra 45 minutes to an hour. Now there are a few things you need to keep in mind watching this video. I am going on a five day trip with my family to Washington State to visit my mom. Um, she hasn't seen her grandkids in over a year now, so we are very excited to surprise her with our presents. Also, you need to remember that I may use different devices than you use. So I use the Dexcom G6 and the Tandem T-Slim Pump. So your devices may require additional supplies and they may be totally different from the ones I use. But this is how I pack. So anytime I leave my house for more than a couple hours or if I'm any distance away from my house, I make sure I have something like this. Now this does have a cooling section in it for insulin and also a couple removable pouches for other supplies. Now, if you're traveling through the airport, you definitely wanna bring this. But also please know that you are allowed to take a medical bag. As far as I know, no airlines charge extra for this. TSA is going to want to inspect it and pull everything out and that's a lot of fun and can cause a lot of stress and take extra time, but it's worth it. You do not want to have any of your medical supplies in your checked luggage. Let me tell you why. So your insulin could actually go bad. This could be due to temperatures, uh, a rise in temperature, a drop in temperature. Also change of altitude can affect insulin. Another reason is airlines many times can lose your luggage. So why not have it with you up in the cabin where you know it's safe and if you need it, it is available. If they do lose your luggage, it could be days you go without it. And that's very scary with your diabetes supplies. So I got this off of Amazon. I will link it below in the description. So the first pouch opens up I packed my glucose meter supplies in here. I do wear the Dexcom G6, but we know the sensors fail. And even besides that, it's nice to have a glucose meter to check the accuracy. These pouches are removable, which is kind of convenient. Most of these are my pump and Dexcom miscellaneous supplies. So I do have a couple over patches in case my sensor starts to come up a little bit. And also I have my insulin pump, I call them plugs, I'm not sure if that's the appropriate term. But these are used if you're gonna go swimming. I also have a couple extra batteries for my glucose meter, I did just change that, but it's always nice to have backups of everything. In this pouch I have Lancets, alcohol prep pads, glucose gummies, the second compartment is the cooling compartment and it has a spot for, I put a total of four ice packs in here. So this should keep your insulin very cool. And then there's a pouch that is removable. I put my insulin in here just because it has spots. I think those are for insulin pens, but I don't use pens, I use vials as a backup when my pump is not working properly. So. Those are stored in here just to make sure they are secure and in place and not going to be moving around and could be damaged or broken. So I have my long acting, my fast act, my rapid acting, which I use in my pump. I have a couple bottles of that. And I have our insulin. The our insulin I only have one bottle of just because I can pick that up at Walmart with no prescription for like $25. So I just have one bottle just to be safe. 
but I should be good with my pump. Most of the stuff in here is just for emergency purposes, but it is nice to have at all times. This case is nice to take in the car. When I'm gonna be leaving the Airbnb, I'll make sure this is with me, but I do have additional supplies in my medical bag. I have a couple Dexcom sensors. I do have a transmitter, even though I'm not about to expire, I have one in case this is this on this side, in case this is ripped off and I lose it, I have another transmitter and I'm good. Some more over patches, a whole bag of insulin syringes, my pump charger, a few of these insulin pump pouches I prepare so it has the cartridge, the infusion set, the alcohol swab, the needle, everything I need in there. So I have three. I'm really only going to need to change my pump once, but I have two in case of pump rip outs, whatever may happen, I'm ready. I packed a whole bottle of my glucose gummies. There are some in my diabetes supply case, but I always carry an extra bottle wherever I go so it can be on my nightstand and it'll be ready if I need it in the middle of the night. I also included my glucagon kit for emergencies. This is an injection that someone else will give me in case of severe hypoglycemia. This does not need to be refrigerated. All right, now I would like to discuss getting through security with your diabetes supplies. So, absolutely nothing should go through the x-ray machine. So when you're going through security, you wanna keep everything in here. You need to hand this to them before you go through the x-ray, before you go through the scanners, any of that. Hand this to them, tell them this cannot go through the x-ray machine. They will take it out and search everything and swipe it and probably test you for bomb residue and all that because you said this can't go through the x-rays. That's okay. Like I said, plan for more time. I always make sure I have two hours at the airport just to be safe. While that's going through the x-ray machine, they're going to ask you to go through the 3D scanner. Make sure you do not go through the 3D scanner with a CGM device or a pump. These cannot go through this scanner. I've had TSA agents tell me that diabetics go through the scanner, so I'm fine. They do it all the time. It's low radiation, but it has not been tested. So please do not go through the scanner. It can affect your devices. You can go through the metal detectors and tell them that. Say, I'm willing to go through the metal detector and I can have a full body pat down because that's what they're going to want to do. Now, this is a very thorough process with the pat down. It's a small price to pay, but like I said, it is very thorough. They really do a great job with it. <laughs> I believe they legally have to give you the same sex agent that you are. So I always get a female and it's a little awkward, but it's not bad and it goes by pretty fast. These types of letters are great. I'm sure you can find them for any pump or CGM device. This is the one I use from Tandem. I will link it below in the description. These are very handy if you have a TSA agent who is doubting your concerns, and also if you get overwhelmed in stressful situations and aren't sure if you can remember what's safe and what is not during the screening process, please print this out so you can be prepared. There is also a disability identification card I found on tsa.gov, so I think this would be very helpful as well. You can also get your endocrinologist to type up a letter stating your disability and listing your prescriptions if that makes you feel better. I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope this will get you through security with ease and you will feel a lot more comfortable traveling with type 1 diabetes. Safe travels. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.